Ryan. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup. You're, of course, watching the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you've all had a good day so far. Let's take a look at what we got going on in the markets right now. You have the composite off about 0.69%, trading at 19,100. It wants that gap up area right at that 19,000 mark. Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.53%, trading at 43,720. One, you have the DXY, that dollar is strong, reaching that 107 area, trading right now at 106.94, up 0.33%. Crude oil itself up slightly, up 0.22% at 68.58. You have that E-mini off about 0.7%, trading at 5,974, so it is cracking that $6,000 level. Let's see, the Russell off about 1.67% at 2,342. Silver itself off about 0.56%, trading at $30.49. Gold. Gold's still getting smoked. So we're going to have Tim Ord on today in the second and third segment. Uh, see what he's kind of looking at, if this is cause uh, for any major alarm going forward. But, I mean, this is giving up, you know, a lot of its gains here. You know, we're, we're getting back to, you know, early September levels uh, in gold as it stands right now. You have copper off about 0.15%, trading at $4.07. Let's see what else. We got anything else freaky? We have Tesla off about 5.33. That would have been the time to do the Tesla short. <laughs> what is TSLS? It's going to be up 5 point something percent too. Yep, trading at 10.88. Well, how about that? Folks, today, right after the end of the show, this, I might cut the show a little bit short just so I can make sure everything uh, runs properly. Uh, but if you go to TFNN.com, we do have the Basel, Basel subscriber webinar today. Again, that is for opening call subscribers only. Get in there, check it out. If you can't make it at four today, Eastern time, that's totally all right. We're gonna have it recorded and uploaded for you later. I believe we actually have Basil uh, with us right now. Basil, are you there? Wrapping up my uh, presentation, so I thought, uh, yes, uh, appropriate time to look at the market. Uh, when we're looking at the Dow, and this is what I'm going to be discussing, that there's been a rotation through the different sectors. That very big spike that we had from the 4th and 5th of November, <clears throat> at this particular point, I still have to consider that that's a breakout to the upside. But when I look at the action today, it makes it really important that selectivity is prime because You've got certain sectors, certain stocks that have really accelerated to the upside and just on a visual basis, let alone a technical basis, are just extremely overbought. So the way I'm looking at this right now is becoming more and more selective. We are still along uh, our uh, Bitcoin because Bitcoin has been um, kind of one of the favorite areas. So that's really what I'm talking about using tactical analysis. That's what I'm be going through to understand how you can put positions on and what you expect for them based on, you remember I spoke about this cup and handle pattern that can go to a D. Then at that point, you've got to be somewhat careful. So that's the monthly chart. So it's still a, a much longer term look at the, because we're looking at monthly charts instead of dailies. I'm going to be going through all that. I'm going to go through why I'm starting to look at low price stocks, because we've got a number of pretty heavy uh, positions on, on this moment why i want to look at the low price stocks because if you can get something that's in a favorable area or sector but you don't have to pay very much for it this is the time to be uh, using those vehicles as putting less money i i'm in a s situation now that i'm going i'm starting to look at building up a cash position even though we are really favor we have been favorably um leaning towards this particular phase of the market. So the the, uh, the title is sector rotation, um, sectors and stocks for the next market phase. And I think we've started looking at that next phase. And we're starting to see some sectors that are, uh, you spoke about gold. We got out of our gold stock weeks ago because gold was just not looking, it wasn't acting very well. And the right. gold stocks were not acting as well as gold. And that to me was really important. I like to see the GLD, uh, GDX, the gold miners, move much better than the gold stocks. And that usually helps the gold stocks to continue rallying. So this is, to me, something very important. And we've been along the dollar for a long time. And the dollar right now is at uh, a recovery high. If you look at the monthly chart, and I'll be talking about that, it's not fantastic, but it has been leading 
uh, to the upside. And now it's just about to get to a strong area of resistance. So we'll see how the dollar acts. We're going to look at the bonds to see are bonds ready at least for a rally attempt because they've been, I mean, we can talk about sector rotation. Bonds were at highs at about 102 um, in the TLT just a few weeks ago. And here it is at 90. Now, you know, these are serious uh, switches in patterns and the tide. I like to look at the tide. So that's basically what we're looking at this afternoon. What new positions we want to put on, what areas we want to look at, what was weak and has now been very strong. Well, those areas that uh, were like the COVID highs and then the 80 to 90 percent declines that have now been coming right. back. Are these stocks like a Shopify? Uh, are these stocks worth looking at right now? Fantastic. And so, yeah, Basil, that is going to be today at 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to get you right in there. So, folks, if you are an opening call subscriber, you should be tagged. For whatever reason you're not, just email me at Jacob at TFNN. But I made sure to get everyone in there. And, uh, Basil, we're, we're looking forward to it. So am I. It's a very exciting. I'm so pleased that this action happened today because it's yeah. clarifying a lot of things for me. It's very good. Absolutely. Well, Basil, we will see you at 4 p.m. Eastern Time right here in the Discord, okay? Thank you, Jacob. Fantastic. So yeah, guys, again, really check this out. I, 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 the only reason I've been driving on it all week is because he does these, I, you know, maybe once every like three, four or five months, right? And they are great every time. I get to sit there, just kind of watch, make sure everything's going well. And it is always very insightful. Again, that is sector and stocks for the next market phase. And again, I want to say if you are, if you, well, let's say you've never subscribed, right, to the opening call newsletter, it's not a problem at all. We do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're listening to this on, let's say, YouTube, right? You kind of just stumbled across us because of the headline that we have on our YouTube channel. One, welcome. But two, check this out. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for whatever reason the newsletter doesn't work for you, uh, you get access to this subscriber webinar and all the other subscriber webinars uh, beforehand. Uh, again, if you want to get in, you're not sure how to, you're having some issues with it, email jacob at tfnn.com. I'm probably going to end, like I said, end this show a little bit early just so I can make sure we're all squared away if anything new has come in since I've been prepping uh, for this. All right, let's take a look real quick. Uh, we only have about 45 seconds. We're going to get into uh, the next segment. We're going to have Tim Ord on as well. But we have Hims. Hims getting smoked off 25.34%. The worst thing that could have happened to Hims is essentially what just happened today, which was Amazon basically launching fixed purchasing for, uh, for medical treatments. This is, this is cause for alarm, and I don't know how you get out of that. Folks, stay right there. We'll be right back. We're going to get Tim Ward of the Ord Oracle on.